Hi, in this video, I'm going to be going over different factors to help you decide if cybersecurity is for you. I'll be going over the culture of the cybersecurity field, some pros and cons of working in cybersecurity, the compensation and outlook, the lifestyle and hours, and stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over some tools that you can use to see if cybersecurity is for you. If you are new to my channel, I'm Nicole, and this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. So go ahead and smash that like button below. And a thank you, here is a picture of a baby rabbit. Aww. Two common teams that are typically in cybersecurity is the blue team and also the red team. So red team is offensive and they're the ones trying to break in and kind of hack they're also known as ethical hackers. And there's also the blue team, which is the defensive side. They're the ones implementing the security controls, doing the paperwork that's necessary, making sure all of the computer systems are abiding by rules, laws, and regulations. Red team kind of gets all of the media attention, but there are tons of other jobs within cybersecurity. If maybe that doesn't appeal to you, like it doesn't really appeal to me to become a hacker. Some common jobs within cybersecurity is a security operation analyst, a cybersecurity analyst. You can check out more here. Identity access management, a security auditor, cybersecurity instructor, security awareness trainer. And so the, the jobs are on and on. So what exactly is the culture within cybersecurity? Each culture is different within each industry you go in. So for instance, cybersecurity at a banking industry might be different than cybersecurity at a health industry, and there are too many to discuss. In general, tech is usually more about skills than it is credentials. I know some fields are usually more about credentials than it is skill, and credentials and grades are really important, and can you solve a problem? It also tends to attract people who enjoy change because your job you will have to continuously relearn probably every three to four years as technology is continuously changing. So you find a lot of really motivated, smart people within the tech industry. So where can you work in cybersecurity and the industry? And you can work at a ton of different places, but the major industries, as we look at this graph, are going to be uh, banks, financial and insurance industries. This is the largest makeup of cybersecurity jobs and job growth projection. There's of course the IT and telecommunication sections. What is your internet provider? They're going to need cybersecurity. The next is retail. Healthcare is a really good one to get into. There's also government, manufacturing, travel industry energy and utility. Essentially every business is going to need some type of cybersecurity professionals either on site or outsourced to a different company, but security is very important. And if you get breached, that could be millions of dollars and also be the kind of the end of your business. So businesses are investing more and more as the fines become bigger and bigger and the breaches become more costly. And if you're a career changer, look at your current industry and see if you can pivot to a cybersecurity or tech job within your current industry. So a lot of people think they have to change industries or like they don't have any knowledge, but if you work in healthcare, you're probably really familiar with all of the rules and regulations such as HIPAA that goes along with that. So instead of just changing completely, I would look at the industry you're in and then maybe try to gain some cybersecurity skills as you're already really familiar with how that industry works. Each industry is very different. If you're coming out of the military, it may be best just to do one year in the Department of Defense and then change to a different industry if that is what you want. Also, every industry is going to pay differently. The fastest growing one is cloud security, cloud application security, endpoint security. Another really important consideration when looking to change your career into cybersecurity is what is the hours like? and the lifestyle that goes along with cybersecurity. I'm here to tell you, because I work in cybersecurity, that cybersecurity is extremely flexible. But again, your life, depending on which industry you, you choose, could be very chill or you could be working 60 hours a week. And a lot of the times, life is going to be very chill until a breach happens, then you're going to be working overtime. Sometimes you're not gonna just be working a nine to five job and the hours can be a little bit chaotic, but there are certainly jobs where it's just 40 hours 
a week and then you go home and you get paid for that 40 hours. There are a lot of positions in cybersecurity that are overnight. So if that is something you're interested in, I would look at a security operation analyst, a SOC analyst, or a cybersecurity analyst as they're often 24 seven or maybe even incident responder. There are also tons of remote jobs for cybersecurity. Yes, you can make six figures and have a remote job, probably within two to three years. And I know people have like, they're gonna make six figures and have a remote job right off the bat, but maybe you might have to settle for a little bit less for your first job. And then after that one to two years of experience, pivot to a remote job, not to discourage you at all. You could definitely just go ahead and start right out at a remote job. It just depends, but always make sure before you accept that offer to ask about the hours, because personally I would hate to do an overnight shift or even have the risk of doing an overnight shift. Yeah, there's just no way that I could do an overnight shift. The next consideration you should take when trying to change your career into cybersecurity is the compensation and outlook. Now the outlook for cybersecurity is humongous and this is not going away anytime within the next decade. Also, a lot of times they can't really outsource these security positions to cheaper labor overseas. So take that into consideration also as that in itself is a security risk. As of currently, there's like a 0% unemployment rate for anyone who works in cybersecurity, which is absolutely fantastic and you can easily find another job. So even if a recession comes, the security positions are not going away unless the business in itself just kind of shuts down. The compensation within cybersecurity field is also enormous. Like a SOC analyst, you can start out at around $90,000. Some places it's $60,000. Check out my video on how to negotiate better if you want to learn how to raise that $60,000 right here. What is it like to work in the field? And your experience is going to be so varied depending on like where exactly you work that I can't really tell you what it will be like because there are so many different jobs and it may not be applicable to the job that you want. I do have a video that goes into my reality of working in cybersecurity. You can check it out here. Essentially some pros and cons of it are that it's extremely flexible is something that I really enjoy. You're always going to be learning something new. I'm the type of person who gets really bored very easily and quickly. And so just the fact that I'm always learning and there's always something new to learn is something that I really enjoy. I wouldn't do well in a career where it was just the same skills for 20 years. I would go insane. Also, there's unlimited growth potential. Like there are so many different jobs and it's a new field with tons of outlook. And if that ever changes and the growth just kind of slows, I would probably pivot to a different career field. But for right now, I honestly have zero desire to change from security. Now I am trying to learn cloud security, which is different from what I currently work in. However, it's still within the security world. Some things that you should be looking out for and some cons about working in cybersecurity are that burnout and technical burnout is completely real. You have to relearn skills every three to four years and you can just kind of get exhausted about just learning all of the time. I never fully understood that until I was like in my late twenties. I don't know. I had like unlimited energy until about 28 and then it just was like, I don't know. It also can be extremely stressful because you do have to deal with data breaches and very sensitive information and classification. Also, it can be extremely detail oriented and if you make a mistake, it can be a huge issue. It could affect confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And if you are the cause of these breaches or this network going down, it could cause a huge issue and you could potentially lose your job. Like, how do you know if cybersecurity is for you? Well, my opinion is that cybersecurity has so many jobs. You could definitely find one that suits your personality. A really good place to start if you have absolutely no idea how to choose your career is the Meyer Briggs test. This is my absolutely favorite test. I am an ENFP. So it, it's basically a test that goes in. It tells you if you're an extrovert or an introvert, a sensing or intuitive type, a thinker or a feeler, a judger or a perceiver in it. It classifies you into 16 different personality types. You kind of just read about yourself and the qualities you have and what careers that you would be suited for. 
this to me is a great way to start. No, of course it's not an absolute. However, it is a really good place to start and it really helped me in my early 20s decide what career I wanted to go into. And on top of that, it can further help you choose a career in cybersecurity. So for instance, if you're an extroverted person, there is like cybersecurity or tech sales. It's a great place to go into. There's also becoming a cybersecurity instructor. There's security awareness training that you could go into and become an instructor for that. If you're more of an introvert, maybe you want to work in governance, risk, or compliance, or even become a pen tester where you're mostly just dealing with technical things. Compliance is great if you just want to work with words and paperwork. Pen testing, a little bit more extroversion as you're going to have to like talk to various people and explain highly technical concepts in a simple, easy way to understand. The world of cybersecurity is endless and there's a job for you. If you like leadership, you could definitely become a chief information security officer or CISO. These are the leaders. You could become a cybersecurity manager if you like management. You could be do software security if you really enjoy the software side of the tech industry. There's just so many opportunities that it's just mind blowing. That was just a few of them. So I firmly believe that if you know yourself, you can definitely find the right career for you. I hope this helped you even just a little bit. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. So I also have other, I have an entire playlist on how to land a job in cybersecurity. I also have a video that goes over a complete roadmap on how to learn cybersecurity and get a job. So check that out and leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye.